Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. We have a wonderful guest in studio. We have an architect with us. It's Tim Burnesh from Burnesh Architecture. Welcome. Thank you. Tim, we have an architect. It's so nice. Um, we haven't really talked to, with a lot of architects on Business Connection. So tell me a little bit about what kind of architecture you do. Okay, well, we are a, a husband-wife architecture firm in Glen Ellen, but we serve all of the Chicagoland area in Northwest Indiana. Uh, we do both residential and commercial architecture. Um, right now, the market seems to be leaning much more toward the, the residential side, mm -hmm. uh, particularly uh, renovations and additions to homes. People are seeing that their homes aren't going to sell for what they mm -hmm. might have five, four years ago. Mm -hmm. So let's make the best of it. Let's add on to what we have. Uh, we, we do a lot of that. Well, we certainly do homes from scratch. I've got a couple of homes going on right now in Long Beach, Indiana, which is near uh, Michigan City, mm -hmm. which are new homes along the beach. Wow, nice. Uh, yeah, and uh, we also do commercial, um, everything from new office buildings, build-outs, and existing structures. Um, we've done churches. Uh, one of the projects that started us off was our affiliation with an architect in Evanston that we work with quite a bit still. Um, that was a $3.5 million addition and renovation to a church in Mount Prospect, so we do that sort of work as well. Wow, so you're, you're going to cover the gamut. Do cover the gamut, yes, and... Uh, we like to think that um, having worked on so many project types such as that, that we can bring the expertise from each mm -hmm. type into various things. Uh, for example, one of the houses we did on the lake in Michigan City, we introduced a product called, uh, well, it was basically an operable curtain wall system to where mm -hmm. um, I was introduced in that when I used to work on schools. Mm -hmm. And basically it would take, uh, in this case, it was a 20 foot wide exterior wall section a piece of a section of outside wall that um, basically you could take this system and mm -hmm. open the entire living room to the beach. Oh, how nice. So uh, nice. obviously yeah, the, the person wanted it as open as we could, and mm -hmm. I said, well, I've got the product for you. That's awesome. Now, when we often think about architects and, and, and that, we I think everybody assumes that you only use an architect if you're doing a huge project or you got a lot of money, where renovations to your home and that really you you need to engage an architect not only for I think good ideas and you know efficiency but there are many codes and regulations of pesky things get in our way tell me a little bit about your thoughts on that well that's 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 certainly something that uh, we architects tend to struggle with in mm -hmm. our profession is is that perception that yes it's uh, just the rich have that and that's that's certainly not the case at all uh, we can help you with uh, better planning Mm -hmm. We can look at what your existing structure is more carefully than than than, than other people say, or yourself. Or, yeah, uh, yes, yeah, that's right. correct. Yeah. Well, that's that's an important one too mm -hmm. because obviously you might have a perception of what you have, but you're looking at that perception from having lived in that house mm -hmm. for five, ten, twenty years, and you know obviously we having looked at other homes, mm -hmm. some similar, some not. We can bring our collective experiences to the table and bring you some ideas that, that you wouldn't have thought of before, um, ideas that we may borrow from other projects that, uh, um, oh, yeah, there's a similar situation to what we've dealt with before. It, mm -hmm. We can see where it works here. Uh, obviously, the, the building codes and everything are, are, are very stringent, and they vary tremendously from, from village to city, um, from state to state. Um, Indiana is a totally different animal from Illinois, for example, in, in terms of... Uh, if I'm going to do a home or a residence or something of that nature. Well, with today's economy, it seems like a, a smart move to think about if you're in your current space because property properties have dropped in value so mm -hmm. much to think, gee, if I you know need more room or I'm just tired of it, which is a little <laughs> bit of that, that it would be smart to, to have a conversation, to start with the architect. Absolutely. And uh, by all means, uh, what, what, what we tell our clients is that... Um, you know, the first the first meeting is free. We'll certainly sit down and listen to your ideas, um, and then we'll come back with a proposal to mm -hmm. make sure the proposal not only tells you what the prices of uh, are of our various services, but it will spell out for you what we expect to be doing in each phase, mm -hmm. and that gives the client an opportunity to say, "Okay, well, yes, you understand what my scope is perfectly," or. Yeah, I may have said that, but now that I think about it, this is really what I want to do. So mm -hmm. we can fine-tune things, get the relationship established, and, uh, and work to uh, do our best job of listening to what your needs are. 
at the same time with the understanding that, yes, we're going to listen to what you want, mm -hmm. but at the same time, we're going to push you and say, well, this is what you think you want, but perhaps this would work for you better. Now, at the end of the day, it's your money, it's your project. We're going to do what you want. But right. we will not just take your initial assumption and run with that. We will come Add up your with expertise, some other ideas. Right. Yeah, I've got a house edition right now. Um, in fact, where they wanted a family, they want a large family room edition, and they perceived this as being a, a simple rectangle. Well, we came back to them with an octagon, with a, with a small connection to the house, because this rectangle they were envisioning was going to affect a lot of windows, affect a lot of existing construction. By making a smaller connection and you then going out with mm -hmm. the octagon, it took advantage of some areas in a setback um, along the side property that they weren't using. It pulled the addition farther out from the backyard to where they were able to use more of the backyard for, for recreation. And it just it did a lot of things that uh, they didn't that, um, right, the, realize. It, right, as a, as a resident you know, or as a homeowner in that, you know, we're just amateurs. You know, we, we mm -hmm. think we have an idea and that's where to engage someone like you because it is our home. It's, it's very personal, so you're dealing with a very intimate relationship there. Yes. And you know, that presents its whole mm -hmm. set of problems. What's the best part of your job? What do you like doing the most? I love solving problems for people, and that's, that is the pure essence of what an architect does, to put it as simply as, as we can. Yes, we do, we do beautiful buildings, mm -hmm. um, but obviously that building has to have a function that's going to work for the client. Some people will ask, well, what is architecture? Is it an art or a science? And the answer is, is that it's both. It is, an, it is an art in that it, we want it to be something that you want to use, that you want to come back to, that you want to keep, that, that gives you and your property value. But it's obviously a science as well. It has to hold up structurally. It has to, uh, even the science of psychology, of, of working where the various spaces mm -hmm. have the appropriate relationship to each other or what we call programming to make sure that we get your program down, understand how you're going to use it, what you're going to use it for, and then put that in a, a package that we feel is appropriate for, for your situation. That was awesome. I haven't heard architecture described that well. <laughs> Tim, thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. And we're going to be right back with more Business Connections. Stay tuned. Thank you.